This painting by Cecily Brown is huge and the entire surface is writhing in paint or flesh. It seems funny to confuse the two, but it's really how you feel when you're standing in front of it. Cecily Brown names the work Skull Diver 2, which is a bluntly suggestive title, even before our eye kind of catches that more graphic image at the centre. And even when we do, our eyes very quickly drawn away from that fixed or more legible image and into this sort of visceral, fluid, painterly world that she creates. And all of these tensions and contradictions are worked out across the whole surface of the canvas, shifting between figuration and abstraction. Is it a body or parts of a body, a tangled mass of limbs, or is it something else entirely? On top of all of that, we have Cecily Brown's wonderful, sort of promiscuous blend of art historical references, from the fleshy voluptuousness of Titian's nudes to the gestural mark making of de Kooning. And really it's the way that Cecily Brown takes us to this place between sensation and gesture and opens up this painterly zone between pure gesture and eroticism that gives a work like this such power.